Hey, Nick. Nick. Nick! Yo, what's good? You got that commercial done? I thought it was due Friday. Yeah, Friday, 9-6. 9-6, I know. What day is it today? Oh my god. Yo, how are we gonna get this done, man? We have less than a day. <sighs> you know, in college, I've actually prepared for this exact moment. What are you talking about? 24 hours, that's my thing. We got this. You know what I always say. Don't stress. Finesse, baby. Finesse. Yo. But in order to get this campaign shot, well, we need to head to New York City. All right, so I'm here with my boy Chandler. You're looking off fleek. But right now, we do have the brand new Sony ZV-1 Mark II, and we've got a beautiful backdrop right now, and we actually have this campaign. We need to get done literally by tonight. So uh, we're in a bit of a time crunch, but we're gonna knock these shots out, bring you guys along, and show you guys how we're filming commercial with this brand new ZV-1 Mark II. You ready? Now you guys already know the ZV-1 is a very versatile camera, but we're really gonna put it to the test today and see how it performs when you're shooting commercials and production level quality stuff. It does have a very impressive 4K one inch sensor and you can also get 20 megapixel photos. So overall you get a powerhouse of a camera in such a small compact form factor. Nowadays everyone's making shorts and reels and TikToks and this camera is actually the perfect size. Bring with you anywhere you're going to still help you get that great vertical content. We do have a vertical campaign to shoot right now. So it's gonna be the perfect way to put this camera to the test. You ready? Let's get it. All right, now I've already been shooting with the ZV-1 Mark II for a couple of days, and I've not only been impressed with the video quality, but a lot of features that are actually upgraded from the ZV-1 Mark I. However, one feature that we are already used to is actually going to be their steady shot, especially with a small camera like this that doesn't have weight to give you that stability. Turning on this active steady shot just gives you the best looking image possible, and especially for shooting a campaign. We want to get that super smooth footage, so let's go ahead and get this turned on. So all you're gonna do is hit function, steady shot, and then turn it on to active. <laughs> All right, right off the bat, one of my favorite features so far is definitely gonna be the eye tracking autofocus. I just did a couple tracking shots with Chandler and the entire time the autofocus was spot on. And the fact that it's able to track your eye, even if you're wearing sunglasses, is super impressive because it's actually a feature you don't even get in some of the higher end cameras. So having that top tier Sony technology in such an affordable camera is gonna be a massive game changer. So let's get you have come in, kind of bring the bag around and then let's take the lock out and then grab your phone. That stabilization is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, right? So right now, one of the biggest things we're gonna try and do with this commercial is actually use seamless transitions, which are a great way to keep your viewer engaged because they don't really see where the cut is coming. So in order to create a seamless transition, the end of your first shot and the beginning of your second shot actually have to be in the exact same direction. So for example, if you wanna do something like a whip pan, all you would have to do is rotate the camera to the right at the end of your first shot, and at the very beginning of your next shot, you need to make sure that you do the exact same direction so that while you're editing, you can splice the two together and it looks like a seamless transition. So as you guys saw previously, I just went ahead and did a little bit of a spin rotation as I was pulling out a channel. So for my next shot, I want to make sure that I keep that same rotation so that while I'm editing, I'm going to have a perfect match cut. So let's go ahead and find our second location. Right now we do still have the original ZV-1, but one of the biggest downsides was that you didn't have a wide enough focal length to get those vlogging shots. Now, although you still do get a crop whenever you're filming in 4K on both of these cameras, the fact that the Mark II opens up all the way to 18 mil is just much more versatile. The widest you could get on the original Mark I was actually a 24 millimeter, which held out at full length, just didn't give me enough space to get that wide angle vlogging I'm used to. Especially if you're doing a lot of content creation, you wanna be able to get as wide shots as possible, which is why the Mark II has been so great. What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be Ash Ketchum and we're gonna catch them all. Shots! Shots, baby! Shots. What do you mean? Now we've been shooting with the ZV-1 Mark II for a couple of hours now and there are a few settings you definitely wanna to change to get the best quality possible. You wanna make sure that you're shooting in RAW, which just gives you a lot more flexibility while you're editing your images. And especially with the 20 megapixel sensor, it still allows you to crop into your image, especially if you wanna recompose it after you've already shot it. Now the second thing this camera can do is actually shoot in S-Log, which is a flat picture profile, so that whenever you're editing in post, you have more flexibility with the color grading. And to be honest, having the ability to shoot in S-Log in such a small camera is pretty impressive, so I no longer have to bring around my entire huge setup. And if you're a solo content creator, you no longer 
longer need any sort of production team and you can still get the highest quality image possible in such a small form factor. And lastly, it's actually gonna be the built-in ND filter, which is great, especially if you're in any sort of sunny conditions, because in order to get the one over 180 shutter degree angle, you need to have your shutter speed at one over 50 and turning on that ND filter really allows you to get the best cinematic looking image possible. So far, we've got some really great shots with the ZV-1 Mark II, but there are a couple of other features we need to test out, so let's keep it rolling. Now another one of my favorite features is actually going to be the portability and size of this camera. As you guys have seen in a couple of the behind the scenes shots, this camera is so small that it allows me to film in any nook and cranny and really get those unique compositions. And the second thing is going to be the touchscreen features. Especially if you're a solo content creator and you want to be able to have that tap to focus ability, the touchscreen ability on the new ZV-1 Mark II is actually very impressive and highly responsive. That way anytime you need to get a specific part of your subject in focus, all you have to do is tap to it. And it's honestly very useful, especially when you're doing these quick cut run and gun scenes because you no longer have to worry about nailing your focus every single single time because you know you can rely on the autofocus system built into the ZV-1 Mark II. But let's go ahead and wrap this project up with a couple of other final scenes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how we shot this campaign in under 24 hours with the brand new Sony ZV-1 Mark II. And I've gotta say, I am very impressed, not only with the image quality I got out of this camera, but also the ease of use because it's so portable and lightweight. It really just allows me to fit this in any pocket and still get that high quality 4K footage without having to lug around a huge camera setup. Now, especially as a solo content creator, you wanna have a camera that's gonna be able to grow with you. And this new Sony ZV-1 Mark II is the perfect option to really help get your feet wet into the entire world of filmmaking. So if you guys are interested to pick one up for yourself, head to the link in my description. And once again, a huge shout out to Best Buy for partnering with us to show you guys how great such a small camera can be. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Let me know what other types of content you guys want to see, especially if it's about any of these new vlogging cameras. Subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, folks, don't stress. Finesse. Peace, y'all.